see, sickness comes to you, as I told you, through our centers getting uh, exhausted. As this is one center, all right, on the left side, left sympathetic, the right sympathetic. And they join together, this is the center now. So we are using the energy of the center that is limited for our purpose, anything. Supposing, I'll give an example of a very good example of one Swadhisthan chakra. It's the center, in the second center, which looks after the aortic plexus in the medical terminal. But it's not complete, I mean, it's one of the parts. Now, the work of the Swadhisthan chakra, according to Sahaja Yoga, which has worked, of course, wonders with this theory, that it gives energy for the replacement of the brain cells. Because we never think about it. We are using the brain all the time, we don't think how it is replaced. Even in the medical science, they don't think about it. So, one of the works it has got, it moves here. And also it has to look after your liver, it has to look after your pancreas, it has to look after spleen, it has to look after your kidneys, it has to also look after uh, the lower part of your large intestines. All right? Now, but all the time a person is thinking. These days everybody thinks too much and very futuristic. As a result, it cannot pay attention to all other things. So what happens? The first thing is affected is the liver. Now liver gets all the heat from the whole body and eliminates it, it's poison from the body, you can say, eliminates it into the uh, blood circulation. It goes into the blood. Now when, you see, liver is uh, not attended to or not, doesn't get sufficient energy, it starts working very hard, so it becomes overactive liver and this heat cannot be uh, removed, so the heat starts rising upward and downwards. As a result, your uh, uh, these, uh, what you call the lungs are made of, as you know, they are uh, made like a sponge. So it becomes uh, coagulated and you develop asthma. We cure asthma through liver, a curable. Then it descends down. When it descends down, it affects your kidneys. By that you get high blood pressure. Also, the another thing you get is constipation. Then your pancreas is neglected. When pancreas is neglected, you get diabetes. Only the people who are thinking, sitting, planning for future get diabetes, never a villager. In India, if we go to a village, they'll say, you have to put sugar as much that the spoon must stand at right angles, they take so much sugar. Nobody gets diabetes because they earn in the morning, nicely go home and sleep off. We think and think and think of the future. So, the neglect of the pancreas gives you diabetes. Now, we have many people who have cured of diabetes also. Then the third one is the worst, is the spleen. That the spleen is like a, uh, we say rhythm, keeps the rhythm, it's a speedometer in us. And supposing you are eating the food and suddenly you have to run, then you get a pain because it has to produce red blood corpuscles. But if you are always in an emergency in modern times as you are, first of all you read the newspaper, you are under shock because newspaper must shock you, see? <laughs> So then another shock, then another shock. Then in the traffic you get a shock. So this poor spleen doesn't know how to behave in this crazy world and it becomes very crazy and vulnerable. And with the slightest shock, it can get blood cancer. I must tell you that we have cured really blood cancer patients. Absolutely cured, completely cured, without any medicine or anything, absolutely cured. We have certificates and everything about them, and surprisingly all of them were architects. <laughs> this is one. Then the, another thing, as I told you, it affects the kidneys and it affects also the lower intestines. So only one center, if you use it too much for one purpose, can give you all these troubles. And ultimately the heat might rise to your heart and you might have a massive heart attack. Especially if young people, if they are drinking too much, uh, if they are playing tennis or of a very, I mean any, any game which is like football or tennis, drinking too much and thinking too much, they might get a massive heart attack. 
and die very young, at a very young age, and it's absolutely fatal. If you get this attack at a young age, it's fatal, you cannot save them. The other way round, if you are, if you have inactive organs also, you can have inactive, also due to that also you get troubles. So when you treat somebody on its roots, it's very easy to solve the problem. See, supposing you have to treat a tree and you start uh, treating all the leaves, it's very difficult. But if you can go to the roots, it's so easy. <laughs>